Here we go! In a world of cute puffballs and sweets, behind the smiles and giggles lies a fierce competition that destroys people's bonds and trust. One against another, comrades betray each other for the sweet, sweet taste of strawberry cake. This is Kirby's Dream Buffet. Hello everyone, it's me, Savvy, and Kirby Dream Face Out, it's a very good game, and I'm here to talk about how I feel about it on the first day. I've been playing this game for the whole day, non-stop, <laughs> yeah, and it's very, it's very good. This is not scripted at all, this is not a review, I think that our review will come out at a later date when I will play in 100% this game, because... It's very fun. It deserves um, its own whole video, and this is kind of the first video of maybe many videos that this game will receive. Now, uh, first of all, uh, Kirby in was like in a weird spot. Kirby was in a weird spot because we got Kirby in the Forgotten Land, and for the longest time, me and some of my Kirby buddies thought that that was it. That was it. That was it for the Kirby deceleration. We knew about the Kirby concert uh, and a few other things, but we didn't know. And we didn't think, like, I were, I was hoping for um, other types of games to celebrate Kirby's anniversary, but uh, to be honest, I thought it was very unlikely. I thought I'd just how I was going to move on, maybe do a re-release collection, which I'm still hoping for. But then Nintendo, in weird all Nintendo fashion, uh, they release a trailer. They drop a trailer out of nowhere for Kirby's Dream Buffet. And the trailer made me think that this was a collection. Here's the trailer. The, um, the opening shot looks very similar to uh, the trailer for Kirby's Dream Collection. With the cake and everything. And also the name makes sense. Kirby's Dream because it's a recording theme of like even Kirby's Dream Collection and stuff. And buffet. I thought like it's, it's like a buffet. It's many games. It's like a vast variety of games. I thought like this was going to be like... Kirby's Dreamland, Kirby's Dreamland 2, Adventure, 64, Superstar, and maybe even some of the GBA or DS games because it's a buffet. There's a lot of different things. Then the trailer, uh, the trailer starts. I didn't record myself reacting because it was so on the moment that I didn't really think of reacting, and I was confused. I was very confused because I thought, "Wow, this is, this is Fall Guys. This is Kirby Battle Royale, not as in Kirby Battle Royale, as in a Kirby Battle Royale." There's a uh, that's difference and then we move to today uh, the game came out uh, a lot of trailers came out and i finally get my hands on the game and i have to say it's fun it's fun the game is uh right now and i think it will always be this price 15 dollars so i'm here to go answer the question that some of you may have in this very moment is kirby's dream buffet worth 15 dollars yes but but, 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 there is a huge but here. Uh, Kirby's Dream Buffet, for those who don't know, is a Kirby game, a Kirby party game uh, that centers around eating the most strawberries. It's a very fun concept and it divides into some mini games. And most importantly, which were the parts of the game that I enjoyed the most, being the races. That's right, uh, that's the thing that I enjoyed the most about this title. Uh, we basically have to go from point A to point B of a certain map because we have a lot of different maps and uh, You can roll around as Kirby because in this game Kirby has no limbs Kirby is just a rolling ball and your objective is not only to get as many strawberries as possible But try to be the first in the races being first actually doesn't uh, Technically give you more points, but um, actually staying always staying at the front gives you more of a chance to collect more strawberries and at the end of the race there's actually a huge pile like a huge cake filled with strawberries that can give you 15 then there's one for 20 and there's one for 10 
different strawberries and after you get there you gotta wait for all the other uh, four main players to actually three main players my bad uh, to get into uh, that same spot and while you're waiting some uh, strawberries can fall and that was my favorite part that was my favorite part because there were times where i thought the match has ended but nope no 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 you always say to stay uh, focused on the game because there was this specific clip that i'm going to play right here if you're wondering yes my name is john Luke in this account uh, it's a long story, but uh, yes, this is me. It's just one of my alternative accounts. <laughs> that sounds like a meme. Ah, you fool! I have several alternative accounts. It's one of my alternative accounts with uh, the that I share with my family and have the actual like uh, Switch Online the subscription. So I use that, and I will use that for um, basically everything. So the thing is that um, I wasn't like I thought I was first, right? And then the the strawberries start to fall and like all right let's get the, the strawberries as one does and then the second player shows up uh to the um like the other shortcake and they start eating strawberries too and it was like whoa, 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 whoa there's no way there is no actual way that this guy is going to win and i slipped and didn't collect one more strawberries while those were falling and I got fucked. I got fucked. Uh, that guy got in first place for one strawberry. That got me salty and I was laughing so much. It was like, this is the type of game I like to play. This is the type of game that gets me infuriated and laughing so hard. So I always try to make some collabs with some of the homies, uh, you know, of Kirby Stream Buffet. Because thankfully, not only do you have casual matches with people all around the world, but you can also have private matches that are... And you basically put a password of any kind. You share the password with your friends, obviously via Discord, I don't know, something else. And that's how you get the players. You can get up to four players to play. But in the races themselves, there's going to be many more players, which I found odd. I was like, why aren't there more spots for actual players and not CPUs? Uh, but then it was more clear when the other part of the game shows up, that is the battle royale itself, the, the main course, let's say. And this was the most important part, but I, I don't like I don't like this part as much as the races themselves, but these are very fun too. Because you can have, like the races, some copy abilities all based on food, and there's some exclusive to this mode. Uh, you can have either, there's, if I recall correctly, two different uh, modes of this battle royale. There's some where the strawberries are falling down, and one where is Master Hand. Uh, because yes, Master Hand and Crazy Hand in this game that can actually take you. Uh, that wasn't actually much of a um, much of a problem in my playthroughs, but it was a fun hazard. It was fun messing around in these uh, types of scenarios where you can just you have to stay uh, with your eyes open to see if anything happens and also collect the most strawberries and strategically use all the power ups. And speaking of which, power ups, the copy abilities, they are very good. They are all very very fun. I enjoyed using uh, practically all of them. Uh, the only one that is for a very specific purpose is the jelly. The jelly. Uh, I'm, I'm just laughing because I uh, there's another way which uh, me and uh, Dexis call it, but I cannot say it. Uh, but it's a very good ability if you have one of those crusty walls, you can surpass those. But apart from that, you cannot use it for any other great thing apart from maybe leaving some goo behind. Speaking of goo, Gooey! Gooey in, is in this game, technically. There are many unlockables, which are the main thing that actually got me, apart from the gameplay itself, to get this game. Because I was like, those look very good. There's different colors, there's different masks or hats or Elflin, just straight up Elflin. And the game rewards you for playing more with more music tracks, with more masks, with more... Uh, maps with basically everything and there's a lot of different things that you can unlock as DJ said and the level of customization is insane you can have just a plain old Kirby you can have a burger combo or you can have maybe a DDD color with a Meta Knight mask or you can have a Rick color with I don't know an Adeline cap there's a lot of fan service and the other part of fan service is like uh, some kind of biscuits they're called like this in the Italian version which are basically some sorting plates for whenever you start the the races 
and uh, they are they're very cool. You can also decorate them in the in the hub board. Speaking of which, the hub board. The upboard is very, 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 very useful because it gives you, like, once you jump into the upboard, you can just mess around with the controls. And there's also a dedicated training area, which was super useful when I started the game because there's no tutorial. And in my opinion, it's that, that's better because if you just think how the game can be played, there's also, like, a super short section at the start of the game that tells you that's how it plays right before entering, like, the first phrase that you have. The controls are super intuitive and can be learned in just a few seconds. You move around with the stick, you press A to jump, and you can use the copy abilities with R. That's it. That's all the controls that you have to play. That's all the things you have to memorize. It's not hard. It's not hard. Do I have any complaints with the game? No. $15 is an amazing price. $15 is amazing. I thought this game was going to be at least like $20, if not even $30. But the price is, is is amazing because the game is not uh, like the game doesn't have a story mode, it doesn't really have any modes, but that's good for a title that is only 15 bucks. So it's also very cheap, and I'm also very happy that the game isn't free to play because that would have led to many things such as um, maybe like having some of these costumes or colors locked behind a paywall. So. Oh, uh, there was actually one small tiny Kensy Pensy problem that I got with the game. That was uh, one of the laggy matches, but it was one, one laggy match. Uh, there was a lot of lag, it was kind of unplayable. And for the other matches where they all went smooth, there was just maybe one or two that had a little bit of slowdown, but it was still bearable, but there was one match that was terrible, terrible connection. And that was just the only problem, like the, the match was was very bad, the match was not very fun, but that was the only instance of something like, well, it was maybe 25 matches, not even more. Well, progression is easy, the price is good, the gameplay is solid, the controls are responsive, the power-ups are great, the maps look delicious and get me hungry every time I see them, the original tracks were bangers and you can also unlock some. Um, tracks from other games you have to save file. For example, I have the cell phone for every game compatible. Randomly play while racing. And they're all super good tracks, so you can hear Roar of DDD while playing a match or a race. Uh, and that's all. That's all. That's all. Just a little small thing. If you are planning to get the game and don't have a Nintendo Switch Online subscription, don't. Don't, don't get the game. Trust me, um, I only played one, if not two, matches offline, and they were super boring because, uh, number one, you get more points by actually playing online. Number two, there's not the same level as interaction. And then online, you can have your, like, <clears throat> you can chat you for friends, you can, uh, you can do so many things. Um, and you're like, yeah, I'm screwing over this human being with CPUs, you can... So it's just not the same. So if you don't have an online subscription, this can be a fun couch co-op game. You still have to try the uh, local multiplayer. You just have to pass around a Joy-Con or have two Pro Controllers or whatever uh, to play with two players. But trust me, the real fun is when more than two players are in the game. You have like four players online from different parts of the world and you're all screaming going, okay, move over, this and that. So if you have an online subscription, and even if you're not a fan of Kirby but a fan of party games, should you get this game? Absolutely yes. Because it's it's very good, it's very good. I don't know if I, why I said absolutely yes when I could have just said absolutely. It was maybe to do a little bit of suspense, but this was just my thoughts on the day one of Kirby Dream Buffet. Uh, I wanted to do just this video unscripted, so I would just take my opinions and just put them in this video, because when I do a review or talk about a game I like, I usually script. Actually, without usually, I script. I script everything, I look at it multiple times, and apart from the jokes, the most important thing to look is the actual game itself. The actual game itself, the review, like, no, I don't like this thing, or maybe nah, this thing could be written, written a little bit better, but no, here I just said what I wanted to say, and I hope you all enjoyed. With that being said, you all enjoy this wonderful game where Kirby gets chunky. I hope you have all a nice day. See ya. Savvy, out.